Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. This is going to be your own reading, Capricorn. Yes, it is. Can you believe that? And if it turns into a love reading, it just does. But this is for actually for uh, this is for anybody single, you know, somebody who's hooked up or just any old Capricorn. Yes, walking down the street, right? <laughs> Let's see what we got for Capricorn, please. And uh, we're going to get some oracle cards too. And for those of you that are in uh, in a situation with anybody, uh, the extended reading will be about that person. All right. Yeah. It'll be how about how they feel about you, Capricorn, right? And all those things kind of. And like what's most important to them. What's challenging them, right? So the extended uh, in a general reading for you, right, will, you know, because in the love readings it has their, their energy, but... Since this is just your reading, we're going to look at all that in the extended. Like, what's challenging them, how they feel about you, uh, mm -hmm. and things like that, right? What the things they fear, possibly. And this, so let's get into the reading right now. Let's look at the heart of the matter for Capricorn, please, for Capricorn. And we have the Justice card. All right. So, okay, let's see what else we have for Capricorn. Let's see what's crossing you, Capricorn. Or influencing it, that energy, please. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this looks like a union, sort of. Let's see. But this Ten of Pentacles, interestingly enough, the Ten of Pentacles, it can be a commitment. It, it Sometimes it's about, like, you know, when you reach, like, a financial status, things like that. So let's see what else we have. Let's look at the energies that are coming into play. Show me those energies for Capricorn. We have the Six of Cups. Okay, somebody's here from the past, the Capricorn. Again. <laughs> uh, or something from the past, possibly. Let's look at uh, your highest expectations, Capricorn. Your highest expectations for Capricorn. And we have the Ace of Swords. That's pretty good. Okay, that's great, actually. I mean, this is victory, typically. It could be clarity. Maybe you think you're going to find something out, right? I'm going to find something out here. Let's see. And we have the energies that are leaving you, right? Show me the energies that are leaving Capricorn, please. And it is the Queen of Swords. Okay. I feel like you're having clarity here about something. Yeah, it could be victory, but I feel like you're having clarity because the Queen of Swords is leaving you. Mm hmm So whatever you were thinking about is like, it's like, it's going to be all cleared up, all right? Like sunny skies, no more clouds, kind of clouding your... Vision or cut right? <laughs> Let's see the energies that are coming soon, kind of. Yeah, coming your way. Show me the energies that are coming soon. And they are temperance. Maybe a Sagittarian is going to be visiting you. Maybe an angel. Capricorn, right? An angel. Yeah, a sweet angel. All right. <laughs> Hopefully it's somebody you're in love with, maybe. This is not a love reading, right? Okay. A sweet angel. All right. Uh, I feel like not all Sagittarians are sweet angels, but I feel like some of them are, right? So this doesn't even have to be Sagittarius necessarily, but typically it is. And now we have the death card. This is how other people are affecting you, the death card, OMG. And how you're affecting other people is the four of pentacles. You could be holding on to money here or holding on to something. This is how you are affecting them. And your hopes and fears, Capricorn, is the Emperor. So we're going to look at your outcome over there in the extended. And let's get into the reading right now. And uh, let's grab some Oracle cards for Capricorn. Yeah, let's do Capricorn so we can kind of drum up here for Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got. And let's use the, uh, we're going to use the Quantum deck here. Mm -hmm. Show me the energy for Capricorn, please. Show me Capricorn's energy. Here we have new supportive connections. Okay, maybe you're meeting somebody new here. Uh, maybe you have somebody, uh, you know, this could be any kind of supportive connections. It could be somebody you're meeting this, you know, I mean, I don't know if they're a couple or not. They look like they kind of maybe just met and they're happy. But you could be, this is new, yeah. So let's see what else we have for Capricorn. Show me Capricorn's energy. And now we have a consciousness of lack. Okay, Capricorn, so you're worried here about money. Mm hmm You're worried about... Yeah, and this is how you are affecting other people. Here you are holding on to the money. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're holding on to somebody else's money, Capricorn. <laughs> so 
So let's look at let's get another card. Show me the energy for Capricorn. Capricorn, please. And we have travel. Okay, you could be taking some type of a trip here. That sounds good, right? That sounds fun. Mm-hmm. Get out of Dodge for a while. And uh, let's see what else we have. Go ahead and get some other cards here. Show me the uh, show me the energy for Capricorn. Let's go ahead and use these native spirit cards. Yeah, show me the energy for Capricorn, please. And we have Sacred Mountain. Okay, we're going to have a look at that. Mm -hmm. This is Denise Lynn's deck, right? She is, for me, the famous uh, Cherokee. Yes, she is. And uh, let's see, let's look at Sacred Mountain. And be still and take the time to move into the silent place within yourself. Locate your internal source of power. Connect your source, right? Like, this is like yourself, right? Meditate, wait, do not move forward until it feels right. Surrender to stillness. Do not take action. If you observe rather than react, you claim your power. Mm -hmm, this is true. Your native spirit wants you to know from the vantage point, right? The vantage point is, you know, like a place of kind of winning or, you know, an advantage. From the vantage point of the sacred mountain, your power grows in silence, You'll find your sacred witness. It is the dwelling place of your soul. In peace, seek and discover your truth. Move past the bustle and clatter of life into sweet quietude. If you're in pain, don't lash out. Go, go into it until you find the source so that it can be healed. Okay. And, you know, it, this talks about travel, but it talks about being still. But when it talks about travel, it can talk about just travel to, you know, travel to your place of quietude. It's kind of interesting there. Okay. So Capricorn, uh, you could be kind of like, you know, maybe you are kind of meditating or just kind of, you know, being alone, being in quiet here. I feel like you're worried about money right here, a consciousness of lack. You have new supportive friends coming your way, Capricorn, so that's really a good thing, right? So let's see uh, what we can um, kind of uncover here for you, Capricorn. And let's look at, let's see why you have the Justice card. Yeah, let's see that. Mm-hmm. Two of Pentacles. So you're wondering uh, if you're going to get justice in a situation. Maybe it's a court case, right? Two of Pentacles, justice. Mm-hmm. Let's see, let's get another card. What is Two of Pentacles there for? Capricorn. Eight of Cups. This is kind of interesting here. I'm not really sure what this is yet. I mean, you could be... You know, this can talk about you walking away from a Libra, right? Here's Capricorn. Here is uh, the Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. You're you're wondering about some type of walking away. Could be your person, or you know, or somebody here. It's not loving, but it could be somebody. Yeah. Okay. Let's see why the Ten of Pentacles is there for Capricorn. And we have the Ten of Wands. The Six of Wands. So you're carrying some type of a burden, some type of... It could be about money with this consciousness of lack, right? The Ten Pentacles are next to the Ten of Wands. I feel like you are. I feel like you're, like, you're carrying some kind of heavy load about, right now, your financial stability here. Mm-hmm. And there's some type of court case that could be, you know, maybe that could, like, help out if you could win a settlement, something like that. Mm-hmm. So let's continue. We're going to find out. We're going to crack the case. So let's see. The Six of Cups are coming into play. Why is the Six of Cups coming into play? And the Four of Cups reversed. I feel like you're opening yourself up to somebody from your past. Yeah, or, or some type of energy from your past, right? Uh, maybe, you know, let's see here. Wheel of Fortune. I feel like there's a Sagittarian here. Mm-hmm. With temperance right here and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so somebody from your past is like uh, you know maybe could be helping helping you, but I feel like they I feel like you're opening up like you're offering somebody some type of an opportunity from your past. Mm -hmm. You could be over here, Capricorn, thinking, should I walk away from a situation because I might not get justice? Mm hmm. Okay, so we're going to figure it out. It's unclear what this justice is about, right? And let's see what the six of so the uh, ace of swords is there. 
This is your highest expectation. Why is that there for Capricorn and the Two of Swords? You don't know if you're going to have victory. It could be in a court case about somebody from your past. It could have to do with your kids, possibly. The, the Six of Cups, you know, the two kids are here. You could simply be thinking, you know, this could be about somebody you're dealing with. I feel like it has to do with somebody else here with the Six of Cups. And I feel like uh, you could be, like, thinking, you know, some, there's some type of justice here that you're wondering if you're going to get justice here or... Maybe if you should walk away from getting justice, that could be the case here. Mm -hmm. You could be, maybe you're like, if you have kids, for some of you guys, you could be concerned about child support here. Mm -hmm. and, and whether or not you should just like give it up. Maybe you have some court case here and over here, whether or not you should just ignore it, right? Just walk away from it. Because you, over here in your highest expectations, the Ace of Swords... And the Two of Swords, Capricorn, you're, you're thinking, I don't know if I'm ever going to have victory. Or maybe clarity. Because you are looking for some type of clarity. Two of Pentacles, going back and forth about something. So over here is the Queen of Swords. These are the energies that are leaving you with the Queen of Pentacles. This is you, the Queen of Pentacles. These are the energies. Here you are, just like uh, analyzing over and over, like more analyzing, Queen of Swords, discerning, Seven of Pentacles, evaluating. I feel like, you know, these energies are leaving you. It could be, uh, maybe there is a Libra here for some of you guys with the Queen of Swords and the Libra card, the Justice card. I mean, for some of you guys, you could just be dealing with a Libra and you're wondering if you should walk away with them. That's it. You could be carrying a burden about having victory with them. Yeah, I feel like for some of you guys, that's what's going on. And this energy is kind of leaving you, though, uh, maybe all this thinking about them. I feel like this, uh, yeah, but I feel like you're, yes, I feel like you're, like, telling yourself, give it up. Let me just go over here and, and be in peace, the sacred mountain. I feel like that's it. And let me find some new supportive connections. For some of you guys, that's what's going on in this reading. It's just about a, a Libra, right? Yeah. And let's see, why is that Seven of Pentacles there for Capricorn? And then we have the Knight of Swords. Mm -hmm. And the Four of Swords reversed. Uh, you have some type of restless energy, though, leaving you. Leaving you. Yeah. This is why you're going to the Sacred Mountain. Mm -hmm. And over here, energies that are coming your way. Temperance, the Knight of Cups, and the World card reversed. Somebody's coming to you, I feel like it's this person from the past with unfinished business. I feel like it's a love offer. Maybe it's an apology, but Knight of Cups usually doesn't show up as an apology. If somebody's bringing you some type of an offer, mm -hmm. I feel like it's somebody from your past. I feel like it's somebody who is a Sagittarian. Mm -hmm. Why is that world card there for Capricorn? Ten of Swords, OMG, these energies are coming to you. Something's ending here. Mm -hmm. This is a trippy reading. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, so, you know, somebody's coming to you. Uh, things coming into play right now. It could be a fire sign here. And, and uh, yeah, it could definitely be. And I feel like somebody from the past is coming, and then over here, it is unfinished business, but an ending as well. Okay, so that could be that maybe you have a new cycle with somebody, maybe, unfinished business, and let's see, let's get one more card on the Ten of Swords. Ten of Cups, a lot of completions here, Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and now we have the Fool card. Okay, so this is somebody coming, things coming into play. I feel like you're taking a chance on some on somebody from your past. Mm-hmm. Or they're taking a chance on you. How other people are affecting you is the Death card and the Page of Cups. Yeah, there's an ending here. There's some type of an ending here and a new beginning. Or an unfinished business 
how other people are affecting you, the death card, the page of cups, and the judgment card. Somebody looks like they're ending a situation to come and be with you. That's kind of how that looks. Or they're ending it with you to have a rebirth with somebody else. It could be that. Why is that judgment card there? Seven of Swords. This is how other people are affecting you. This is sneaky energy. Somebody could be escaping from somebody and ending a situation to be with you. And the Four of Pentacles is how you are affecting other people. Mm -hmm. And the Five of Cups. Mm -hmm. So you're holding on to somebody and you're making somebody really sad. I feel like somebody's returning to you. Yeah, somebody's coming back to you from your past. I feel like you don't you you don't know if like you weren't sure if like maybe if they would ever return or if you would have victory. I also feel like you were really restless here about it. And over here though, this is uh energies that are coming to you soon. This is a love offer and an ending. I feel like this is unfinished business with you and somebody else is ending another situation. Yeah, because how you are affecting people is you're holding on to somebody. I feel like you're making somebody really sad here. The Five of Cups, Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Why is the Five of Cups there? The high priestess reversed. I feel like you're making a water sign uh, sad. You could be. But this new supportive connections is kind of interesting because somebody from your past is coming back, it looks like. Mm-hmm. I feel like over here you were trying to figure out if you could, if you would have justice with somebody or if you should just walk away. Mm -hmm. And you were carrying a burden. I feel like you're carrying a burden because they were having victory with somebody else and the Ten of Pentacles. Like they were in a union. I feel like that union is like done. Mm -hmm. And they're coming towards you. This could be somebody from somebody far away with the travel card. Yeah, that card could be showing up. You might not be taking a trip. You could be, but you know. These cards are a story, and there's somebody here who's, like, important to you. I feel like they're going to travel to you. You could be saying, no, power and light, I want to go on a trip. I'm tired of sitting around, all right? <laughs> Wow, let's look at your hopes and fears. The Emperor, why is that there? You could be hoping for Aries, right? Why is that Emperor there for Capricorn? Ace of Wands, see? This is what you're hoping for. You're hoping for uh, either to have a passionate new beginning with an Aries, or you're hoping for a passionate new beginning opportunity with somebody. Look at that. Ace of Cups, next card. OMG. That's what you're hoping for. We're going to end the reading there. I want to see how it goes in the extended. I want to see how this person feels about you and how they are seeing this situation, right? What they really want, yeah, what they want, and uh, what they're fearing, what's challenging this person, right, and uh, and their future. Mm -hmm. We're going to see that, right? Yeah, we are. Thank you so much uh, for watching. You guys are all super affordable. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.